Uh, Abby, what is that? I don't know, let me see. Whoa! Whoa. What are you? I don't know. It's kind of cute though. So I decided to make a visit to your planet, but nobody knows about me yet. Not even Dr. Sarah Seeger? Nope. I've always wondered what is out there. MIT professor Sarah Seeger is an astrophysicist and planetary scientist who's hunting for another Earth. In the night sky, we can see thousands of stars, but our Milky Way galaxy is a collection of hundreds of billions of stars, and there are hundreds of billions of galaxies out there in our universe. So I've always wondered, what is out there? Trying to find the answer to what may be out there is what Professor Seeger finds so exciting. When you get homework in school, someone knows the answer to it. But here we're asking questions nobody yet knows the answer to. So what do you think? Is there life elsewhere in the universe? It's not necessarily a very scientific statement, but yes, I do believe that there is life out there somewhere in our universe. We know that exoplanets exist. We know that rocky planets of the kind that might host life are common. And everywhere we look, we see the ingredients for life. So somewhere out there, everything must have come together for life to start and to thrive. Now for the challenge. To get started, you'll need to think like an astrophysicist. But don't worry, you've got this. Think about life. What is needed to sustain life? And what could alien life actually look like? A tree? A single cell? Puppies? My challenge to you is to pick one or a few exoplanets that might be able to host life. Use resources like NASA's Exoplanet Catalog to identify exoplanets that might sustain life. To support life, mostly it's about the planet temperature at the surface. The planet has to be not too hot, not too cold, but just right to support not only life, but liquid water that life probably needs. To present your findings, you may want to make a model of your exoplanet. Or you may want to profile a new species of life on that planet. So be creative and have fun. Who knows? You might even follow in Dr. Sarah Seeger's footsteps and be the first person to discover alien life.